all about giving back. The holidays are when people are buying gifts for their friends and family and going to parties and talking about, you know, what outfits they wore, how they did their hair, how they did their makeup. We tend to forget how lucky we are to be able to enjoy these things for the holidays. There's so many people out there who don't, who don't have the freedoms to enjoy, who don't have the money, who are down on their luck. I just wanted to make a video about that to highlight that and to talk to you guys about how easy it is to give back. It's a wonderful thing, not only for the people who are receiving your gifts and your donations, but also for you as well. You can give donations, you can give your time and volunteer. There's so many ways. I really think it's important, especially these days where social media is so huge and the world is so open to us and yet I feel like we're all getting so much more vain and commercialized. I'm a part of social media as well. Um, but I think it's important that you have a balance. It's okay to enjoy those things, but you also want to come back to reality and be like, listen, I'm really lucky. You know, there's a lot of people who don't, you don't have the things that you'd have or who, you know, don't have the luck. It's, it, it really comes down to luck. You know, the difference between you and somebody who needs your help is just luck, you know? Yeah, it comes down to life planning and all that kind of stuff, but a lot of it has to do with luck. You're lucky that you were born in the country that you were born into, with the family that you were born into, and under the circumstances that you were born in. That's just pure luck. Um, and some people just are not that lucky, or some people were that lucky, or maybe they made bad choices down the road. There's so many reasons. But regardless, if you're going to give back, this is a great time to just go and do it. If you ever had it on your mind, now is the time. You know, this is the time when so many people are feeling the pressure to deliver on this perfect holiday. Whether it's a mom or a dad trying to provide for their family, they have children, someone by themselves on the streets. I think everyone deserves to have a good holiday. So there's a lot of ways that you can give back. I'm just gonna give you a couple examples. One of the simplest ways to give back is just go to your local Toys R Us. They have a Toys for Tots drop box. You can roam around the toy store, buy a couple of gifts to drop in the box, or you know, if you wanna make your money go even further, go to a dollar store. They have toys there too. Buy a bunch of toys, put in a bag, and then drop it off at the Toys R Us. These toys go to less fortunate children in the community and it helps them have a really great holiday. And that's something that you can do and it doesn't take a lot of time and it makes a huge difference in somebody's holiday and in their life in general. There's things that you can do that are not financially hurtful to you that make someone's life that much better. You get a coffee every day, you know, your Starbucks coffee costs five bucks a day. That's 25 bucks for a work week that you could go to the dollar store, get 25 toys, and help 25 children have a great holiday. So just think of it that way. Another thing you can do is find your local food pantry or shelter and figure out what it is that they need and go and get that for them. I, I did a lot of research. I found a women's shelter locally and they are always in need of donations. I went to my local dollar store. They have so much there and everything is a dollar. These items are necessities like these are things that they need just to feel clean and to feel better about themselves and I could get them for a dollar and you know what's great is that if you go to a dollar store your dollar goes really far because just like the 10 pack of razors that helps 10 women it could be super easy and you can make a family event out of it just go to your local dollar store and really make your dollar help a ton of people Life and the shelter also has a food pantry inside so I decided to go to the local grocery store where of course they're having a sale on canned goods and anytime you donate to food pantries you want to make sure that it's non-perishable. You know it took me what maybe a half a day of shopping to get these items and then I wheeled them over to the pantry and I was done. So if you want to find your local food pantry or a local shelter all you have to do is go to Google and type in local food pantry in the state that you live in. I also want to give back to another foundation that I think is really important. So I really like the Trayvon Martin Foundation because they positively affect their community, a community that is directly affected by senseless violent acts and injustice. And you know, they've had this huge media presence around the Trayvon Martin death. And I really like how they turned it into a positive and they used his name to support the community and give back. And so what the Trayvon Martin Foundation does, which I think is really great, is they support families who have also lost children to gun violence and they help them deal with it and mourn. They provide them moral support. They provide them monetary support so that they can have funerals for their children. And they also go back into the community and try to uplift the youth to become leaders within the community, which will obviously positively affect the future of the community 
uh, with strong leaders and so I really like that they have this huge focus around community and so I decided that I wanted to give back to that foundation. So I reached out and had some t-shirts made. This is a really cute quote shirt inspired by Brandy Melville obviously. It says whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Right here on the bottom it says 100% of my proceeds of this shirt goes to charity and then it says natural 85 holiday 2014. So I want to make this holiday charity shirt and I might make this a yearly thing depending on if you guys like this or not because I just think it's a really great way to get the message out there gets you guys donating too. It's a really great message that I think that you know anyone would be proud of wearing and it's also a reminder of the good that you can do within a community that may not be your own community but it definitely affects you. That's why I chose the quote. These shirts are limited edition. I'm only selling them until March and then they're gonna be done because I really just want to keep this limited edition as a holiday charity event. And again, all of my proceeds are going to be donated to the Trayvon Martin Foundation. I also show that to you guys on my social media as well. I'm not gonna be getting the proceeds until March, so or maybe after March, I think April. So yeah, that's when I'll be donating it. I'll put the link in the description box for you guys. I'm really excited because this is the very first t-shirt that I've ever had made for my YouTube channel that I put you know for other people to purchase and I'm really proud that my proceeds for it are gonna be going towards a charity that's doing really great work in their community so yeah I hope you guys like the shirt I hope that you'll pick one up and just know that when you do it'll be going towards a great cause I also hope that you give back to your own community this holiday it's really easy it's not like a huge inconvenience and it can really positively affect someone's life and make their holiday that much better I'll see you in the next one Bye.